Hey, welcome to the course. So in this lecture, uh, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the data logger board uh, that we are going to design and program in this course. So this is basically a custom data logger board that I have designed for this course. Okay, now let's see the different blocks of this data logger. So let's start with this block, which is a power supply block. So with the help of this block, we are generating 5 volt and 3.3 volt. And uh, we are going to use a 12 volt adapter to power our data logger. So here we are going to plug the terminals of adapter and later this power supply block will generate 5 volt and 3.3 volt. Basically, we are generating the 5 volt and 3.3 volt with the help of SMPS circuit and linear regulator circuit. And what exactly these two different circuits are and uh, how we are going to generate the 5 volt and 3.3 volt. Uh, we will see that in its respective section. After that, the next block is RS232 interface block. And uh, basically, RS232 interface is very popular in industry for short distance communication of around 50 feet. So in this, in this section, we will see how to design a hardware for RS232 interface and uh, how to send the data over RS232 interface. And basically, this is the connector, uh, DB9 connector for RS232 interface. After that, the next block is RS485 interface block. And even RS485 is very popular in industry. And uh, this interface is basically used in industry to send the data over long distance of around 800 meters, 900 meters or uh, 1 kilometers likewise. So with the help of this interface, we can send the data over a longer distance. And in its section, we will see how to do the programming and how to design the hardware for RS485 interface. After that, the next section is 0 to 10 volt analog input uh, section. And in this section, uh, we will see how to read a sensor that provides the uh, output voltage in this range. After that, uh, this is the 4 to 20 milliampere sensor receiver section. Basically, 4 to 20 milliampere is a standard in industry. And uh, based on this standard, there are different sensors. And uh, in, in this section, we will see how those sensors produce uh, the output in this range that is 4 to 20 milliampere range. And we will also see how to read the 4 to 20 milliampere sensor with the help of this circuitry. After that, the next section is RTC section. And uh, with the help of this section, we are going to get all the RTC related parameters. Uh, RT, RTC is basically real time clock. So we are going to get uh, time, date and day parameters uh, from this section. After that, the next block is relay section block. So basically, uh, with the help of this block, we are going to control an AC appliance and uh, in order to come and in order to control an AC appliance, we need a relay. And this is basically a circuitry to drive a relay. So in this section, we will see how we can control an AC appliance uh, with the help of our data logger. After that, the next section is a uh, DC motor speed controller section. So in this section, uh, we will see how to design the hardware for DC motor speed controller. And also we will see uh, how to control the speed of DC motor. After that, the next section is a uh, zero to 10 volt digital input section. And in this section, we are going to read a sensor that provides the output as zero volt and 10 volt. And we will see how to read a sensor that provides the output as zero volt and 10 volt. After that, the next section is BLE section that is uh, Bluetooth low energy. So 
with the help of this bluetooth module what we are going to do we are going to read all the parameters of data logger and we are going to send those parameters uh, with the help of this bluetooth module to the android app and we will plot those parameters uh, in the form of graphics on a android app after that uh, the next block is a programming section block and with the help of this connector uh, we are going to program this microcontroller and this is basically the main controller uh, which uh, that we are going to use for our data logger uh, this is basically a atmega 256 controller uh, which sits on arduino mega board so we are going to use the same controller and we are also going to program a bootloader of arduino mega uh, in this controller and later we will be able to use this entire data logger board as a arduino mega board okay after that the next section is uh, sd card section so in this section uh, we will what we are going to do we are going to read all the parameters of our data logger and we are going to log all those parameters along with the date day and time in the sd card in the form of a csv file after that the next block is a wi-fi block and in this section uh, we are going to send the parameters of data logger on a, a web based data visualization application and uh, there we will plot the parameters uh, in the form of graphics so we will see that in this section so that's all about the introductory part of this data logger now i will see you in next section